Another champion revealed means another exciting round of Alan Z Q Bingo. What we have here is 10 options that can go on your personalized bingo sheet. They will go randomly across two columns. That means five options per column. And as you go, you mark off anything that you hear or see Alan do related to that option. And when you win is when you get a line. It's very simple. Comment below if you scored a bingo and join our Discord to interact with other community members who also scored a bingo. All of the winners will go in the next Champion Reveal video. No cheating! Uh, I see Senna. Dead, I bring rest. You could say I got a life wish. Let's watch first. Hello, love. Feels good to hear that again. Ready to fire! Demacia sends its regards. Eyes forward. Burn away the shadows. Blasted. Come out and play. Don't have any warning shots. Lucian. Wasn't darkness slow? What was it like, Senna, to die? Not like living. Pain, fear, and hope. Very fear, very doubt. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the board. I thought it's yeah. Darkness and light. This eye looks right first. It's quick, honey. Sick. I need to do this buff. Turn it against them. I don't know what's going on, but looks cool. Battle's done. Back to the war. <laughs> this looks like Lucian's older brother. All right, let's check the cards. So Senna is five mana. Four four. <sighs> when I'm summoned, or attack create darkness in hand. If you don't have one. Your damage and kill spells accelerate too fast. That's what I needed. Oh, god damn it. Holy shit. Oh, so good. So good. So nice. Remember when we talked about uh, not being sure if Riot cares about control decks? They care. They care. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen you slay three plus units with spells or an allied Lucian die. By the way, uh, this is where pack your bags is back. Holy moly, pack your bags fast. Mm, I'm gonna rub that shit. Yeah, fast ruination. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Alright, level up. Uh, I've seen you slay three units with spells or knowledge Lucian die. Fuck Lucian. This is so easy to achieve to level up. This is such an easy level up. When I'm summoned or attack. Man, dark. And she gets darkness on top. Yes. Create a darkness in hand if you don't have one. Your damage and kill spells are too fast and cost one less. Oh, yes. 
you can play oh yeah yeah exactly you can play that's what i thought when i have seen this first you can play one mana pack again we've leveled up so you can play zero mana pack like you can just deep mat into pack easily as well holy shit uh downing shadow kill an enemy and give all enemies minus two it's Whoa, what so with senna this is seven mana vengeance minus two man minus zero holy moly but again that's only with senna on board it's a very good champion spell it's a it's one of the best champion spells i've i think this is the best champion spell in the game champion spell not spell it's such a good design it's crazy now nah fuck now I think this is better. There's such a sick synergy with Senna. I love this card. Oh. Like the design between this card and Senna is just amazing. Like I, you won't main deck this, but when you have double Senna, this is insane as a champion spell. Love this. Absolutely brilliant design. Death and Ada. Same. Eight mana, seven six. When I'm summoned, create a darkness in hand. Oh, we have more darkness support actually. Damn. Uh, if you don't have one, your darkness this round costs zero and deals two to all enemies. Seven mana, give one sided avalanche. Eight mana, but I mean. Interesting. I don't think it's good. Oh. This is very interesting card. Piercing Darkness. Drain 5. This is so much better than the Grasp. I don't like this card, by the way. It's uh, too slow for me. But this... Hmm... Like, it depends on the meta, obviously. If there will be units that are 4-5 H... Remember, 4-5 HP units are hard to remove. And this on top just heals you. This allow this card allows you to pa like this is a really cool uh, card with the ruination in deck because when you have nine mana you can like opponent having like six damage on board they have to choose either they attack and after combat you can play piercing darkness uh, to punish their attack and they deal dealt zero effectively and you remove their unit or they develop into ruination so it's a really cool card. In in uh, pairing with the ruination in the deck, also removes uh, Senna. Oh yeah, a very good card. Yeah, I'm not talking about like obviously whenever you have Senna on board, all those cards are cracked. Yeah, Senna is my new waifu, guys. <coughs> um, Lucian Sentinel. The first time you kill a unit with a spell, grant me plus two plus one. Yeah, this is uh, this is not good. Uh, Damascian Sentinel, one mana, one two. The first time you kill a unit with a spell, grant me plus two, plus one. Hmm. One mana. No, not good. I mean, there might be new deck archetype with Vagar, where this card will be good. No, actually. Could be okay in Vagar archetype, but I'd rather play, like, in the decks I will be playing it, I won't play this card. It might be good. I don't care about the fearsome. Watcher on the Isles. Each run, the first time you kill a unit with a spell, deal to do the enemy Nexus. Yeah, this is, I don't think this is even playable. Mistkeepers, 5 mana, 3-4. Each round, the first time you kill a unit with a spell summon a mirror mistrafe. Cool, but no. X mana. Oh, George! That's a George wife! You guys, do you remember George? He was a cool uh, once. Now he has a uh, wife. Ixtali Sentinel. When I'm summoned, create a darkness in hand if you don't have one. When you play your next darkness this round, copy 
it targeting the enemy nexus. Very interesting card. Good one. I like it. It's very good for the certain metas. I, I love that we have access to this card. Like, it could be good on day one, day two, if there is uh, much aggro and we want to play Senna. But eventually this card will probably c get cut down because it's too expensive. Solaris Sentinel. Free mana, free two. When I'm summoned, create darkness in hand if you don't have one. Yeah, that's good enough. Free mana, free two is good enough uh, when it summons uh, the darkness. Guys, remember, you have so, like, in the control deck, you'll have enough healing. You don't need six mana unit that uh, has life still and creates expensive darkness. I don't play a free drop that creates darkness. Yeah, I know that it's for Vagar level up, but again, this is for like Vagar specific deck, mid range type of deck. And I don't think I'll be playing that sort of decks because, guys, remember, you you can get so outplayed by the opponent. Like you'll be like, imagine you play the darkness archetype. You put all those darkness created cards in your deck. And uh, you are playing against control deck which does, just doesn't play any unit. What then? You are sitting with your one darkness in hand and you can't target anything. And you are just... yeah. You hit the nexus, you can't hit the nexus with the, uh, the darkness. But again, against most decks, yeah, it's cool. Midrange uh, tool. And you can't stack darknesses in the hand because of the... Yeah, you can have only one. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, I like this card. Free mana, free two is good enough uh, for the effect it provides. Oh, that's a money! Agen Dobro Ostat Neo Myelum Tak Malo Chosu Zina Wet Ni Myelum Sip Tai Pomni X Z No Udust Agis Hage Sna Jake Is Yed Zen Ye Smile Tz I Maj Si I Pan So I get them on. Smile. Alright, let me read this because Brian obviously the, isn't a, a well-educated person. Dzień dobry, ostatnio miałem tak mało czasu, że nawet nie miałem ci przypomnieć, że znowu dostajesz hajs na jedz jakieś jedzenie. Trzymaj się i powodzenie na quali. Dziękuję, duo. Uh, did you qualify? I don't think you played that much ladder to qualify from ladder, right? And thank you for 14 months. I don't know how's your uh, the scores from the seasonal. <laughs> no kurwa, in it, so it has to be some curse. Yeah. What languages do I speak? I speak two languages. I understand a bit more though. I speak Polish and English. I understand uh, three more. But I can't speak them. Uh, catalog of the regrets. Run start. Create in hand fleeting copy of non fleeting spell you cast last run. Ha! Huh. This card is interesting. I could see as a one off. But probably would go down to zero because it's just too slow. Yeah, very pog uh, re reveal. I'm super hyped for Senna, man. So nice. Man, go hard having now two ways of like you have like n now better ways. Like now you don't mind getting pack early because you can play Senna. The only issue with this, uh, the Senna is uh, that uh, the Kindler will fuck up Karma. But again, if you summon Senna, are you that sad from the Kindler? Honestly, if you get Senna from the Kindler, you are very happy as well. You get a darkness on top from Rekindler. You got quick attacker. That's hard to remove. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'll take Sana from Rekindler. Yeah, definitely we cut Thresh from Spooky Karma. Like, Thresh was never good, but... The, like, the reason why you play Thresh in the Spooky Karma is just because... Uh, there, like, it's a challenge. It's a removal for 5 mana. That's why I said Gohard got more support in the deck. That's why I'll be playing 3 Deepness in the deck now. I'll go more on units and less on spells uh, on the Spooky Karma. Like, Spooky Karma will have only now... I don't think I'll be even playing Denies or Palms. I'll be playing uh, mid-range units that create darkness. Uh, sorry, removal. And I'll be playing three Deep Mets, three Go Hearts, uh, uh, Pod, perhaps Valfeasts, and Piercing uh, Darkness for Poppy. And uh, to have a live game. Whale, Piercing Darkness, 
Valfis go hard deep mats. Those, those will be 5 spells I'm gonna be playing. So this is 15 spells and 25 units probably. Maybe with some like changes there. Sona go hard when? On release we'll be playing Sona go hard. Wait, what is this? There is some drama. Hold up. <laughs> 